Hey guys, welcome to the 400 sub special. I just wanted to say the reason why I have not been uploading videos, it's because I've been busy. Uh, I took my girlfriend of four years to Lake Tahoe and I got down on one knee and I asked her if she wanted to marry me and she said yes. So it was a great, it was a great Sunday. <laughs> it was a great day. Um, for those of you that don't live in California and you don't know where Lake Tahoe is, um, I got it for you. It's right there, right where that little point is. Um, it's in California. It's um, kind of in the corner of the little tip in, of Nevada. It's it's a fun spot. It's it's pretty nice. It's beautiful. It's in the wilderness. I took her to a spot called Daily uh, Taylor Creek Visitor Center. Uh, it's a cool little um, area where you could, you know, you park your car and then you w start walking this um, little trail. Before the trail, they have little booths that you could check out. Uh, I my parents took me there when we were kids, and I fell in love with that spot. And I've gone back to it several times after. And I said she has never been to Lake Tahoe, so I thought it'd be a cool spot to take her. Uh, we walked down the trail, and it leads through. Once you go down the trail, you could take a way, one way to head to the beach, or you could take a way that leads you to an underwater uh, little aquarium that's underneath the creek that you walk on on the trail. So it's pretty cool that you get to see like the fish and just how the the wa underwater life works, because uh, it's just it's just like it's not like set up to. Like if it's like Marine World or some type of amusement park. So it's pretty cool just to see um, that type of stuff and just a little trail. But, you know, it was exciting. And, and she said yes. And, you know, and that and I was all like, I got to share that with you guys. And that's pretty much where I've been. And I was planning all that. So I really didn't have time to upload videos. But, you know, now, now we're back, you know. I, I got that taken care of. I'm super excited about that. I'll keep you guys updated with what's going on with that so you guys know. But, you know, on, on to the 400 special. Um, I just want to say this was going to be like a question and air, but we didn't get too many um, too many questions. We got, we got three questions, so I'll do those right off the bat before I get into the rest of the special. Uh, so D T Dakota Games said, who's your favorite Pokemon? That one's easy. It goes old school. Squirtle. Hands down, my favorite Pokemon, just because that guy's a badass. Um, he, uh, yeah. Out of all the other Pokemon, I've only I haven't played all, any of the new games, so I really can't say like I like you know this character, or that character. I played um, Pokemon a long time ago, so those that's that's always been my favorite. So that there it is. Uh, Soz um, asked me um, first. Yes, his first question is, what is your favorite game you have played so far? That one is easy. Okay, my favorite game out of all the games that I've uploaded and that I've played uh, is Seven Days to Die. I love that game. It has a little bit of everything. I love the survival genre. I love the zombie. Um, I love post-apocalyptic. I love crafting and building and tearing down, being able to tear down anything in the world and then build it back up. That game, and that game has it all. And you could just pass the time with some friends. And it's, it's just a real fun game. So that's my favorite game and most likely my favorite survival game of all is that one uh his second question is how did you come up with the name knock striker uh when okay so for those new subs welcome to all the new subs that didn't know that i went to school for media arts and animation um and my cousin who's knock raven that i usually play game with a lot um he he also went to the same school, and we we're all like, "Oh, we should, I always wanted to come up with my own studio that I could do game development, animation, film, whatever. You know, you you think of it. I wanted to do it, so I told him, let's come up with our own studio. And he's and we bounced around different ideas, and he came up with Nocturnal Studios. And we we're all like, "Okay, we'll do that." We made some logos. We started a. A comic strip um, that we only actually did two comic strips that fully complete. The rest are still scratches on a piece of paper. Um, so we really didn't. It didn't go anywhere because we were really busy. Uh, we both were living in San Francisco at the time, and I ended up moving back because it got a little bit too expensive after school. So uh, he stayed there, and I moved back. Um, to my hometown and I told him, you know, so we really didn't have time to collab on stuff. 
So that's when I was, uh, I was, I think I'm going to make my own studio and I'll just, you know, work on it myself. And that's how Elite Eight Studios ca came to be. And that's what you guys see at the end of the videos. You always see that symbol, the Elite, uh, the logo, the Elite Eight Studios. So that's my studios that I created. And hopefully one day that I could get developing tons of different <laughs> stuff. So that, that, that's, that's my goal for there. And that's, that's usually, that's how I came up with Knox Striker, um, one of my characters that I created is his last name was Stryker, and then because our original plan was nocturnal, I just took we just took the knock and we put it in front of our names. So that's how I came up with that. And now to talk about gaming, I really like this game Dead by Day Deadlight a uh, Daylight. Uh, it was really fun. I didn't get to play it that much, as I said that I was <laughs> I was busy planning my proposal and making sure everything went um, good with that. So that that was my priority. So I didn't get to play much of the beta. Um, I might get the game. Uh, I know it's already out now, so I'll get that game. So we'll play that. And the skies. Everybody, you know, I was surprised at how many people actually viewed and liked this video because it was it's a free to play game on Steam. Uh, so I was really excited to see. The, the feedback and how much like it um, it got. I only did the one episode, but I do have the second episode already recording. Uh, I need to go back in and finish recording it, and then I'll be uploading that. I sh already have a Seven Days to Die episode complete, so that would most likely definitely get put um, posted before the the Skies video. But, you know, they've been updating the skies a lot lately, so that's, you know, that's always good when they're up updating the free-to-play games. So, you know, a lot, a lot of times, sometimes you'll see the free-to-play games, they just kind of get left in the dust. You might see an update three, five months later, but they've been updating it pretty often, so that's pretty cool. So I am definitely can't wait to get into that more. Um, the Seven Days to Die, I, I, the video that I put up about it's coming to console, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. That video just blew up. It's my most um, viewed video, my most liked video. We're on the way to 10K views on that, and that's amazing. That is awesome. I love that I'm actually going to have a video that hits the double digits. And we get, then that video also got me a lot of new subs. So thank you. That's that's amazing. I love that that, that video did that. It's pretty cool to see that. Uh, there is gonna, we're going to keep playing 7 Days to Die. I do read all your guys' comments, and I do try to comment back to everyone. And I know that um, one of the, the la newest comments that I had gotten was talking about a decoy house and how to put so the zombies don't keep attacking our base. So that is that is definite. That is going to happen. <laughs> I am going to build that decoy house. But um, another thing that I wanted to tell you guys is Minecraft is not gone. I will um, do more Minecraft episodes. It's just right now with summer that well now that it's summer i'll actually get people that are active and get on and we kind of had like for those of you that didn't know about the series the minecraft series we kind of made it to where we um we're gonna do like a story and come up with this cool um post-apocalyptic event but it really didn't happen as we planned like as i said people had school and work and now we might just create a whole new map and start on the w version 1.9 so that that will definitely come back once we get the new map going. I just need to talk to a few more people to see if they want to do go that way, and then we'll go in that direction, and then Minecraft will be back. Um, another thing that I want to say, I used to have an art the a series called the Artist Corner, where I would show off some of the drawing skills that I had learned, and then share them with people that are interested in drawing, and I would try to answer questions if you guys wanted to see what you wanted to see me draw. Um, I am going to be working on that series again, uh, just to get myself more into drawing mode again, so I could actually start drawing cool things and maybe do some environments, so you guys could see that. So that that series is not dead; it was just it's just put on hold, but it's definitely going to make a comeback. Uh, the lastly, I wanted to talk to you guys about. I know E3 is going on right now, and I know you guys probably have been watching tons of different trailers that have been popping up in new games. What what game? What is your favorite new games that you guys are seeing? I know I saw God of War. Um, they had Watch Dogs too. Um, there's a one called Shatter Skies that I, it was not at E3, I don't think, but there's it's a new game that came out made by the same people that made War Z and Romero's Aftermath. It looked pretty cool. I'm gonna try that game. 
Uh, I know that one didn't come out at E3, but a lot of the cool E3 games that I saw, they were mostly for console. And I have to make that tough decision. Do I want to go PlayStation 4 or do I want to go Xbox One? So I'll be thinking of that. But anyways, I just wanted to say thank you so much for subbing. Um, I'm glad I got to finally tell you guys why I haven't been uploading videos, but everything should be going back on schedule. Let me know if you have any more questions or if you want to see... Uh, some different series going uh, continue or if you guys see like a new game that's coming out for PC and you want me to try it I know overwatch just came out so I might get that so I could upload some more videos of that so yeah you know I, I love reading all your guys's comments so keep them coming and I'll see you guys in the next episode